Hey, it's Jen, the Holistic Health Boss, your functional diagnostic health coach and personal training expert. And I am talking to you guys this week about how estrogen and mold can be making you fat. Now, I've been working from home full time as a holistic health boss for a little over two years now. And what I came to find is that while working from home can have all of its, all of its perks, it was actually making me feel really fat, sick, and tired all the time. And that was because little did I know there were some things going on in my house that were affecting my health. So I want to share a little bit about my story and what's been going on with me um, for the last probably two years, but more recently I've been feeling it since about last November of 2015. So in November, I started to notice that things just weren't really feeling right in my body. I was starting to put on a little bit of weight like in my hips, um, in my midsection, and even on my arms, which I thought was unusual because nothing in my lifestyle and my diet um, had changed at all. And so I kind of like ignored the signals that were happening because all of my clothes still felt right even though the numbers on the scale weren't exactly making me happy. So time passed and then as we um, kind of jumped into 2016, I noticed more and more things that were happening to me. Like I was tired all the time, even after a really good night's sleep. I um, basically couldn't like think clearly or focus. Like I was kind of unmotivated to do any kind of work. I also was having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep some nights. And my moodiness was just kind of like all over the place. And I'm usually really, really like, even keel and centered all the time. So as these different things started to kind of pop up, it started to make me question more and more about what could be happening with my body. And then something really struck me. My menstrual cycle got really wonky and I actually developed like a breast issue that I went to four different doctors and they couldn't figure out what was going on. They said that they had never seen anything like this before. And it kind of really freaked me out, you guys. I mean, how scary is it to be the holistic health boss like myself, let alone any other person, to go to a doctor looking for answers and they tell you that they have never seen anything like that before. So I knew that I could find the answers within myself and with my body if I just kind of reconnected. So I put my thinking cap on, my health detective hat, and I started to rack my brain over what are all the things that could be causing what it is that I'm feeling. And the solution or the answer finally came to me. What I was experiencing was something called estrogen dominance. Now estrogen dominance can happen to men and women actually. It's when the ratio of estrogen and progesterone in your body is a little off. They should be in perfect balance with each other. So whenever there is something like estrogen dominance going on, and many of my clients have had this too, is that they can be, you can be experiencing a lot of the symptoms that I had, like um, unexplained or rapid weight gain, trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, um, having brain fog or irregularities in your mood overall. And of course, you know, just not feeling like yourself, which is exactly what I was feeling. So I finally had this answer. I did some tests and it completely confirmed exactly what I was thinking. And then I was like, well, what is causing this? Like what exactly is causing this estrogen dominance? Because like I said earlier, nothing in my diet or my lifestyle had changed at all. So it was a little bit mind boggling for me. And as I was questioning this, Essentially, the second piece of the puzzle literally kind of dropped in my lap. I opened the closet door in my office um, where I'd been working for the last two years and discovered that we had mold. And I have no idea how long that mold had been sitting there with me sitting in that office and how much exposure I had really had from mold. And mold can be really toxic. Well, guess what? One of the things that causes or creates estrogen dominance is exposure to toxins. There are actually 700 different known toxins that can cause or mimic estrogen in our body. And mold toxins happen to be one of those things that can um, affect hormones in our body. So here I was working from home full time for over almost two years, sitting in the same office, office, exposing myself to mold for, like I said, who knows how long. And it finally was taking a toll on my estrogen, my progesterone and my overall balance of hormones. Now, it's kind of tricky because we can't always see, hear, or feel these toxins that are in our environments that are disrupting our hormones 
all of the time. So I want to let you know that there is hope. There are things that you can do on a daily basis to help minimize the impact of these toxins, even though you don't know that they might be there. And these are things that I practice as well that probably help to stave off the accumulation of those toxins in my body for a really long time until my body couldn't actually take it anymore because I was just exposing myself so frequently. So some of the things that you can do to help support your liver to rid it of toxins like this that you're coming encounter with that you may not know about is you can eat foods that are naturally detoxifying and really powerful in that sense. So things like beets, dandelion greens and grapefruit and lemons are the top most powerful naturally detoxifying foods that you can consume. You can also then eat foods that are specifically helping to um, release estrogen out of the body or kind of like balance it more. So things like cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli and cauliflower and kale. Um, so you can eat a lot of those like leafy greens or, or vegetables that are like that. And you can also incorporate um, things like flax seeds. So I do flax seed in my smoothie every day and that helps to kind of dissolve estrogen in your system and move it out so that you don't get a backup. Now I mentioned the liver and supporting the liver because your liver is in charge of excreting excess hormones and specifically excess estrogen. So if you are being exposed to toxins that are mimicking estrogen in your body, then you certainly want to be making sure that you're supporting the liver and helping to flush out all of that excess toxins out or excess um, estrogen as well. Otherwise, it cre can create a backup and assist in the system kind of like a traffic jam. So it's important to support both of those things. And this is one of the reasons why I also do my seasonal cleanse challenge every spring and fall because we don't know about these toxins in our environment. We don't know how much we're being exposed to them. We don't necessarily know how much they're disrupting our hormones until something big happens like, you know, your menstrual cycle goes all crazy or you develop a breast issue that no doctor can diagnose what's happening. So we want to be working on supporting our liver all the time. Now people will tell me, but that's what our liver was like meant to do. That's what it's created for, which is completely true. However, in the society that we live in, we are now being bombarded with more toxins such as mold and those other 700 ones that I had talked about earlier that are mimicking things like estrogen in our body or just disrupting our hormones. And we don't have much control over that. They exist in our home office, in our home, in our furniture. They exist in our makeup, in our cleaning products, in the air, the water, everything that's surrounding us. So there's a lot of things that you can, can do to control your exposure to toxins by purchasing you know, more organic, environmentally friendly type of products. But beyond that, we, are, we know that we're gonna be exposed to them. So supporting your liver, helping it to run effectively so that it can get rid of toxins, it can excrete excess estrogen so that you don't get to that point where you're feeling fat sick and tired like I was is super important. So what I'll be doing this fall, actually starting in a couple of weeks, is I'm gonna be participating in my own seasonal cleanse challenge. And I actually do this every spring and fall with my participants. This is one of the ways that I keep my health in tip top shape. Even when I encounter things like what I just experienced, this is still super helpful. It's gonna be part of my healing journey. So I wanna invite you guys to join me also in this experience now that you've heard this, knowing that you could be exposed to toxins that you don't even know about either or mold in your own home or your office as well. So the challenge starts October 25th, however, open enrollment is happening now and enrollment is gonna close Friday October 14th. So you guys can click on the links below or go back to the email where you might have seen this video and check out the details about the cleanse challenge. I would love to have you participate in this with me to help you you know, boost your energy, get rid of any excess weight that you've gained, rebalance your hormones, and just start feeling more like yourself again. Let's get those toxins out of your system so that you can feel your best all the time. Hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you next week.